Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your mid-June reading. It's going to be a quick read. I'm trying to keep it short. So we're going to do five card advice spread. Um, I have shuffle off camera for you guys. So let's get started. I'll save the announcements for the end. Okay, okay. Okay, first card is you right where you are. Second card is Aquarius on their path, the correct path. Third card, obstacle here. What's the obstacle? What's helping you? Fourth card, fifth card. How can progress be made? How can progress be made for Aquarius? Bottom of the deck, the Emperor. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. Uh, some of you just need to take back control. Take control of a situation. Get in control of yourself also. Make stern and very um, uh, distinct decisions. Don't go back on your decisions. Let it be what it is. Aquarius right where they are the world a cycle is ended for Aquarius and things ending um, There is an ending A door needs to be closed It's up to you. Do you close the door? Or do you stay here? This is where you are the world You've gone as far as you can go in a cycle Could be a seven-year cycle Seven-month cycle whatever you've gone as far as you can go here What are you gonna do? All right, are you in your correct path? Ooh, the devil. There's some fears. There's some fears, and um, I'm hearing that. Okay, so some people are dealing with like addiction and codependency, and they're really trying to stay on the correct path because, um, you know, they are dealing with addiction, real life addiction like substance abuse and sexual addiction something that has a strong hold on Aquarius uh, for some of you it's being in a third party situation being in a codependent situation being in a toxic relationship whether it's romantic friend family Something needs to um, change. It needs to shift here. Some of you have a lot of fears. You need to get in control of your fears. Third card. Obstacle. King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Typically Scorpio or Pisces. Could be Cancer. Obstacle. I think it's your emotions. For some of you, I'm hearing like this is, is a real person, <laughs> male or female, water sign. The fear is surrounding this person. That's why they're an obstacle for you. It may be that this person exudes the emotional stability that you you want to have for yourself. As as you envy that in them they envy some things in you also I think that's the connection too there's a strong connection here too polar opposites wanting to come together what is helping you the five of cups for some of you it is Someone choosing to actually, okay, so the Father Cup sometimes talks about hesitating before making decisions too. And maybe the hesitation is helping you because you need to get in control of some things. You need to understand that a cycle has ended around maybe a Capricorn, a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Something has ended here like this energy should have ended or will end for you or if you take hold of it grieve What happened to you and be aware of the emotions that you feel because the emotion the emotion of fear 
is the opposite of love. So you have to find a way of transforming your fear into the love that you have for said person. King of Cups, Capricorn, I don't know, Taurus, uh, Leo, another Aquarius. I don't know. You know. But, and that's what the bottom of the deck is about you getting in control of this situation. Like, you're all out of whack in, in which you're making p other people doubt you just because you have so many fears mm, okay. how can progress be made ah oh, wow yep ten of wands ten of rods lay down the burden that is the fear that is the lack of clarity because you don't trust yourself you don't trust your own emotions because you want to be like the king of cups he or she is your obstacle because they sit in their emotions and they're grounded in those you're you're grounded in your thoughts and what you know happened and what, how you can rationalize and logically strategically put together this or that but you won't do this you won't really process the emotion here five of cups you rather just act in, in fear of your emotions all right we're gonna clarify over at uh patreon uh, you know what guys i'm just gonna be very honest because today is saturday i don't know why i'm feeling like just being super candid and just frank about this whole situation but i do not know how to use patreon like i'm i was sitting there trying to put that video i, just, I don't know i don't know it might be on patreon it might not like i don't know okay just check for the link below it might happen it might not I was so dumbfounded. Anyway. Um, yeah. Let's do some career and finance messages for Aquarius. I hope that things are turning out really well for you in career and finance. Career finance messages for Aquarius. Five card spread. Career finance. You know what I'm going to do a five card spread. Okay. All right. Career and finance messages for Aquarius. 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 Bottom of the deck, the King of Pentacles. This could be you, the energy you're taking on. Nice, solid businessman, woman. Makes solid decisions that really um, help everyone involved. Just a really solid decision. And then the Ten of Pentacles and then the Nine of Pentacles under it. What? That's what I'm talking about. Career finance. It looks good, Aquarius. Done, Aquarius has done a lot of work though, a lot of manifestation, a lot of trying to just get things together. All right, three, nine of cups, wish fulfillment, queen of club, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, male or female. Um, seven of spade talks about the loss of friendship, the loss of burden to carry. For some of you, you're hoping and wishing to. be an entrepreneur to be a, a more charismatic outgoing to have the motivation to really put the, the the drive behind your dreams you need to revise your plans also you need to write a plan some of you don't even have a plan make a plan write it down see wish fulfillment here Eight of Cups, Ten of Spades, Seven of Cups.
club nine of spades all right some of you your health is highlighted here um you might have visitors in your home because you need visitors in your home to help you right now some of your so like i said some of you might have had a, a surgery need surgery your health isn't where it needs to be um your psychic abilities are heightened though against the opposite sex maybe because uh cancer pisces scorpio caused some type of ruckus for you you're, you're walking away or they walked away or you want to walk away from them you got the psychic the download here about the betrayal of uh They, they're causing nothing but stress for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They have caused this or they are causing it. So past tense or present. You choose. King of Spade. Here's you showing up, Aquarius. Or another air sign. Six of Spade. Nine of Club. Ten of Heart. Ace of Spade. <laughs> Okay, um, a lot of you making achievements, you know, small achievements over over your over what's burdensome, over um, over what you over your goals. You're making achievements here. Some of you have a secret admirer, a new boyfriend, or a new girlfriend. That's bringing you a lot of happiness. They could be a fire sign or sun moon rising. There's an ending and a new beginning here, or just complete transformation. Um, I feel like this person, this new person, you already know. You know them. They could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They, they're causing a lot of happiness, though. So that's always a beautiful thing. Uh, let's get Aquarius some additional messages here. Additional supportive messages for Aquarius. Volunteer. Adult children. Sobriety. Mm -hmm. Realizations in epiphany and grief work. Yeah. Retirement. For some of you, you are actually physically retiring. Retirement also talks about an old way of doing a new way of doing an old job like you may now have to put in less hours at your old job because you know you're just good like that you have the money to do that you have the stability to do that you're one foot out the door um also talks about a new job retiring an old position going to a new one uh, yeah also talks about self-employment too retirement some of you are concerned about retirement. We got the Ten of Diamonds, King of Diamonds, and Nine of Diamonds at the bottom of the deck. A lot of you are really concerned about tomorrow. Tomorrow meaning, of course, you know, a time from now. Uh, it could even be ten years, nine years. You know, you want to know. You want to have something very foundational established. Volunteer. A lot of you who are retired or, or retiring volunteer this will give you a healthy outlet uh to your day and just some fulfillment you know you can't watch that much tv every day you know be retired i don't know shit i'm not retired so i don't know i don't know where it came from sorry guys <laughs> maybe it came from the jealousy of not being retired uh so so to my retired people out there and raise your glass to me <laughs> and say one day one day lady anyway adult children adult children are highlighted young adult children young teenage children you know it's highlighted here parental care fell out of the deck for you off camera some of you you know, you've, got a, you've got a lot going on with the children like they're doing so much. It's summertime. You're trying to figure this out, figure that out, blah, blah, blah. Are we going on vacation? They want to do this. They want to do that. Summer camp, uh, summer school. It, I, young adult children or adult children are highlighted. Um, 
some of your your adult children need to they aren't sober you're worried about their sobriety for some of you it's your sobriety um, you've wrestled with it you are wrestling with it um, keep up the good the good work keep up the fight you know that's an everyday struggle some of you it needs to be sobriety of the mind got the nine and the ten of spade you stress yourself out someone like three people just told me that like the other day you stress yourself out I'm like yeah I know um, it's a it's a comfortable place for me like if I if I'm doing nothing then yeah I'm not happy so anyway sobriety okay realizations and epiphanies you have realized you have come to realize that you have to let some things happen you have to let the world energy take place uh an old dynamic go away so something new can come in close the door stop opening the door on an old way let you know let the paradigm shift grief worked right and then we have the five of cups right no five of cups yeah. five of cups um this is like the same card grieve A acknowledge what happened acknowledge what didn't happen acknowledge the part you played in it cry scream uh go get support if you need it you know talk to someone but as soon as you acknowledge your emotions then you can move forward the mo the time the time where you keep trying to push them down or not really grow emotionally and spiritually um then you stagnate your own self you stagnate the energy and the people around you they grow to know you and love you for the emotional whimsical person you are but at the same time, sometimes it tires people out too. Or you're just never taken serious emotionally because you just aren't good with that. So work on mastering your emotions um, and being in control of your emotions and being solid about decisions too. Because Five of Cups talks about hesitating before making decisions. All right. There we are. Maybe we'll, you'll see us or see me over at Patreon. I don't know. I can't figure this thing out. Like, somebody from Patreon, can send me an email. I don't know. I'm, I cannot deal with this today. I cannot. Okay. All right, Aquarius. It looks good. I mean, there's no major the money's good is coming if you don't have it you Aquarius just need, you need to work on what you know you need to work on your emotions you know making those decisions that you need to make okay uh, when in doubt pray Aquarius I am praying for you pray for me as well I will see you guys in July this is the mid June 2018 reading I don't know if I said that uh, all of my information, if you want to request a personal reading, is below. Uh, I'm I'm going to get the website back up. I swear, I'm getting it up today. No, probably tomorrow. Okay, all right. See you guys. Bye.